I just saw a bald eagle and it was amazing. <laughs> Day 24 and it's 59 degrees. Is that Bigfoot? Hey there, little buddy. Would you kiss me for a thousand dollars? Yeah. All right, now that we just made it through the first four minutes of all of my videos, this one's gonna be a little different. This is my friend Amber that just passed away from COVID who left behind eight kids. This is her husband, Travis, who's literally still recovering from a traumatic brain injury from a uh, high-speed chase involving a criminal and the criminal hit him. 100% uh, not his fault and he's he's still recovering from that and he's the only driver in the household. Amber's best friend actually lives in the house with them but she doesn't have her driver's license either and quite frankly if she did it would look something like this. Just kidding Alicia. You can't have 10 people living in a house and only one driver and that driver is literally still recovering from a traumatic brain injury. This is Amber and Travis's oldest daughter, Kinsey. I actually had the uh, honor of going to homecoming with her. She realizes that her and two of her other sisters um, are gonna have to step up now that their mom's gone and um, start driving. Unfortunately, she was born with spina bifida. So um, she was actually in the hospital having um, a spinal surgery when she found out that her mom died. Because she can't dorsiflex, uh, hopefully I'm saying that right, her feet, um, she needs hand controls on the car. She has an organization that can do the hand controls for her. She has been through driving school, and um, she just can't take the test until she gets a car with hand controls. Uh, she is babysitting for a military family, so um, she can afford car insurance and all that. Her and one of her sisters go to UC Blue Ash. Uh, she's a psychology major, and her sister is a uh, environmental science major. Kinsey is a total sweetheart of a girl, so why am I telling you all this? It's not always all about you. Not now, little buddy. Simply put, they need more cars. Um, the three oldest girls are all old enough to drive, and uh, they know that they're going to have to help out with the younger siblings, and um, the only thing holding them back is just not having a car, so... Guys, I don't like to ask for anything unless I absolutely have to, but um, I'll give this a few days just on the uh, out chance that somebody has an extra car, maybe even three. <laughs> I could make a strong case that they need a, a few cars, but um, if we can't at least get one for Kenzie, then uh, we'll start a GoFundMe for her. I hate that we live in a world where views and shares and all that crap matter. And uh, the last thing I want to do is ask people to uh, subscribe, ring that, smash that like button, ring that bell, view this, share that, blah, blah. But um, please share this, you know, so we can hopefully find them a car. That went better than I thought. I made it through without crying. Woo! So I guess let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. I definitely just scared the hell out of that car because the dog charged me right as a car was coming at me. Jeez, oh. I'll show you power. Hey there, little buddy. Today's leftover roadside lunch is still sponsored by <laughs> Tiffany and Brandon Robson because it's taken me like five days to eat an eight pound burger. Mwah. I can't believe the thing is still good. Incidentally, I just took my first roadside poop. If Bigfoot is real, I promise you he lives in Missouri. Okay, Rumpke, I got a great idea for you. Instead of the brown trash cans, can we get some pink breast cancer awareness ones? I always wanted to meet Penn and... <laughs> Tonight's motel is sponsored by Megan Fisher. Um, she doesn't know I was going to do this, so it's not like she was like, Hey, can you advertise my business, blah, blah, blah? But um, she does these prints. If you go to Fisher Prints, uh, look her up on here. She did this really neat, like uh, she can take a sound wave and made like a print out of it. And I just thought that was really neat. So, um, yeah, thank you, Megan. Peace. Thank you, Rita. I cannot believe I'm getting barbecue two days in a row, but there happened to be a barbecue place next to my hotel, so I'm super excited for this. How good does that look?
for a second there. I thought I was in Las Vegas. My nieces and nephews will love this. I think it's deer poop. <laughs>